All right, so we're in the final stages of cleaning up brush um, from the mess we made clearing the road and our entire build site. Um, these are like the, some of the last piles here. And what we're doing is we're burning them like we always do, but I've never really talked about that process. So um, what we're doing is here we, we're, we have a nice cleared spot that's free of debris. It doesn't have any leaves or any, any combustibles around the pile. This right here is gonna be our burn pile. Um, in a perfect world, I wouldn't have these other piles so close to it, but they're all gonna get burned pretty quick, and this area is very clear, and uh, um, I didn't really have a lot of room to put them elsewhere, so uh, that's where they had to go. Um, I'm gonna start a fire. Um, oh, number one is I called a controlled burn phone number and notified them that, uh, that we're doing a control burn. And the deal here in, uh, in New York, in the Hudson Valley, is that uh, you gotta call that number. They got fire towers watching the valley to see if, uh, if there's any smoke that hasn't been reported because there are forest fires here pretty often. So if you don't report a control burn, they see a substantial amount of smoke for a prolonged period of time, they might send fire trucks out calling the controlled burn they say oh that's that burn over there we're not going to do anything about it it's controlled um, I've been calling that number a lot in the last couple of years okay so I am going to light this pile right here on fire and uh, in order to do so um, I need to get some good kindling and uh, it just rained here which is actually a great time to do a burn everything is damp and wet less chance of uh, spreading fire so in order to do so I'm going to use a neat little trick and that is going to one of the many, many, many uh, pine trees we have here. Sorry, these aren't pine, these are a fir. Uh, these might be hemlock. I don't even really know. I'm not too good with softwoods, but yeah, maybe you guys know what this is. Hemlock, spruce, dug fir, like to know. So here we go. We got, see all these branches right here? These dead limbs? Well, that isn't totally done crispy yet. Let's find some good ones. I've been picking a lot from here. Okay, so this guy's probably pretty good. Pretty crispy. Yeah. So here we go. You can, you can tell with these, you know that they're, they're furs when they have these like little teeny little, little, uh, little branches here. And those are fantastic kindling. The best ones are from, uh, that are still connected branches because they're dry. Even when it rains, they're up in the air and they stay dry. Um, so here we go, here's a whole bunch. This one, this one's pretty dead too. It's even got some needles on it, which are great. So this material is extremely combustible. Pine is just, pine and furs is uh, just, they just burn so good. Uh, this stuff is a little bit, not totally dry, it just rained but it's the best we're gonna get. So we make a little tinder bundle here and that is going to light right up and it'll eventually catch the entire pile. So I'm gonna collect a bunch of this and then I will go light. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna find a nice little nook that's in the pile. It's underneath more easily combustible material. So I found this little nook right here where I put my little tinder bundle and it's right underneath more, uh, more uh, fir branches which will catch really nicely. It's also protected from the wind down here too. Um, what I have ready also are uh, some bigger, some bitter, bigger firs uh, branches. And I got some little, kind of little medium ones here too that I'm gonna add to this as soon as it lights. So actually I'll put these right on top now before I even start. So those flames are gonna come right up through this way and they're gonna burn that. So let me grab just a couple of these too. Break these up. Throw that right there. Okay, nice, happy burn. Okay, so now you're gonna see this stuff, oops, this lighter is totally busted. You're gonna see how nicely this stuff just lights right up, hopefully. It is a little wet still. There we go. You see that? I'm just lighting these sticks right on fire and they go right up. 
Fantastic. Great fire starting material. There it is. And hopefully that's going to be enough right there to, to ignite the stuff on top. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's all going. Uh-oh. Probably should have had a little bit more material, honestly. Yeah, I think it's going to go. Right, let me start throwing some more stuff on. All right, that's going real nice now. Uh, I wish I could have gotten a little bit lower, but I didn't have any good combustible material at the bottom. So I'm just going to feed the top a little bit more till this whole area dries out and the whole thing goes up. Should only be about 10 or 15 minutes. Now, I'm not trying to make a, a freaking video about how to start a fire. If you want to see that, I'm sure a thousand other people have made videos on that. Um, but what I will say, one piece of advice is do not skimp on material. A lot of people, when they're making even a small campfire, if you have the material, put it on because a lot of people think that, you know, you got to be really, you know, you can't put too much on at a time. And yes, you can smother a fire, but you're going to do the fire a, a, by giving the fire as much fuel as you can possibly find. It's just going to make it hotter and grow stronger faster. Um, so especially if it's like, you know, once you've got a decent base going on, you got some coals, you can throw as much as you want on there and it will dry that wood out and it will go up. I have, you know, made fires with countless people that are just timidly putting material on. It's just like, God, painstakingly just watching this fire kind of fizzle and grow and fizzle and grow for, for, for all night sometimes. If you just put enough material on, just don't be afraid to put material on. That is, that is the best piece of advice I can give you, obviously without smothering the fire. burn. Uh, big control burn it seems, but we're burning brush because uh, previously I had been um, burying the brush. I had an excavator out here, I was burying all the brush and all